Bodenland. If we look at the different types of autogenous bone, a smart dentin grinder that uses the teeth is also considered an autogenous graft. It is actually the patient's own teeth. What you do essentially is um, grind the teeth. Well, actually, you're going to clean the teeth first of any decay or restorations or granulation tissue. You're going to grind and sort these teeth. Then you're going to cleanse these granules, rinse, and dry. So here's an example in this patient. We extracted the teeth, as you already saw. We leveled the bone, and now we're ready to place some type of graft. Well, we have a full arch of graft that we want to use. So why not use the teeth? There's no restorations in them. We're going to remove any decay or granulation tissue from these teeth. We're going to go ahead and put it in the smart dentin grinder. We're going to grind these up and then remove these particles, place them into the sterile cleansing dish for defatting and dissolving any of the organic debris, bacteria, toxins uh, of, these, uh, of the particulate. And so the basic alcohol cleanser consists of sodium hydroxide and 30% alcohol and we'll allow this to sit for about 10 minutes so usually one of my assistants is uh, helping me with the surgery the other one starts to clean these teeth grind them and place them in the um, sodium hydroxide for 10 minutes so that I have this constantly moving and I have constant graft coming out well the beauty is when you look at it on a scanning electron mi microscope the particulate dentin when the cleanser is added is uh, very clean and all the bacteria tests revealed that there was no bacterial growth at this point. So the sodium hydroxide is very effective in removing any bacteria or toxins from this autogenous craft. Well, once the 10 minutes has passed and we've removed all the toxins and bacteria has been killed, then we know this particulate is going to be washed twice in sterile buffered saline solution. And so this way we're removing any of the sodium hydroxide from the graft material. So we'll rinse it twice and then blot any of the excess saline. And here we have a bacteria-free particulate autogenous tooth dentin graft to place into the sockets. And it didn't cost you a cent. Here we see the histology, histology uh, section uh, of the of the cores taken from certain areas. And so there's a lot of studies that indicate that this dentin graft is very efficient and effective. In fact, there's several papers worldwide that talk about this. Well, here are some of the advantages of the smart dentin grinder. We see fast bone healing of this autogenous graft. There's obviously gonna be no rejection or inflammation or fast resorption. In other words, the um, enamel acts as like cortical bone and then the dentin acts as cancellous bone and so you have a variety of different rates of resorption and turnover so you have a very nice stabilization and predictable bone remodeling and obviously this reduced graft cost when we look at the chambers um, we're looking at slightly uh, around fifty dollars and I'm sure Kurt will talk about this at the end of the presentation so here we see we've used the teeth as an autogenous dentin graft. At this point, we're going to suture and get primary closure. When we're only filling sockets, we don't need to use a membrane. If we've broken a buccal plate and there's what we call a three-wall defect, and in that case, we definitely want to use a membrane. Mm -hmm.